Welcome back. Uh, as promised in the nice castle today, I was going to do some filming outside, but it is freezing. Uh, so we picked a really good day to do this. I think it's like minus 30, minus 41 with the wind chill outside. Uh, beautiful day, like it's sunny out. The wind is just insane out there. Not that we'd ever know the difference in here though. So just got in, uh, popped some holes. It's a little messy as you can see, but the furnace is on, it's nice and warm. Uh, last time we didn't go into depth really at all on anything. So today I've got my rod, uh, only brought one. It's just how I like to roll. Uh, simple. So I got my rod here. I'm going to put it together. I literally just took a spinning reel off of one of my summer rods. I'm going to put it onto one of my winter rods. Uh, rig up a bait and that's what I'm going to use today. Uh, I only brought one so I hope I don't lose it. Okay, so like I said, um, putting my first ice fishing rod together of the year, it's February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day. Um, so what I did was I took a summer reel off of one of my rods. It's a Shimano 2500 Stratic. I like to use these because I try not to fish outside a whole lot. Um, wouldn't recommend using one of your nicer reels if you're going to be you know, jamming it up in the snow or whatever, but we're in a nice warm ice shack, so um, that's not really an issue. So the rod I have is a Frostbite. Uh, it's called the Smoke Show. I really like these things. They're nice and sensitive. They work really well. Uh, pretty light. And I also like the real seat because um, I hate having to tape or tie on my reels to the cork. Fits nice and well. This is a great walleye rod. Uh, it's a 37 medium light. Uh, so it's got a good tip and then you get some backbone about halfway up. Uh, just allows if you catch a, a bigger fish or um, something that throws a lot of head shakes, this rod absorbs it nice and well. Probably my favorite all-around rod. It's good for anything. I've caught lake trout on this thing, big walleyes, uh, lots of perch, like I'm sure we're gonna do today. Some some smaller walleyes, some meter walleyes. Uh, so it's it's good for everything. So this here is what I'll be using today. Like I said, I only brought one, so if I break it off, I'm out of luck. But so I like this bait a lot. Uh, it has a good little rattle in there. And I'll probably show you guys. It has a good little rattle in there. Now I'm not a big color guy at all. You can use whatever color you want and it's not going to make a difference in my opinion. Uh, but one thing I will say, this thing is glow in the dark. Um, I've noticed that makes a difference in ice fishing. I don't know what it is or I don't know if I'm crazy, but for whatever reason I have more confidence in stuff that glows in the dark too. It seems like I usually don't fish whoever I'm fishing with when I'm using one. Um, another few good baits to use uh, aside from a rattle bait like this would be like a smaller jigging spoon, like a Northland Buckshot spoon. I get a lot of people to use out here quite often or uh, just smaller jigs. Um, like a small jig with a small shank. Doesn't have to be a tungsten one, but the tungsten ones do have the smallest profile, which I like because it seems like less is more out here um, in contrast to some other fisheries where you want to be big and aggressive, Lake of the Woods, um, where I'm fishing today seems to be, uh, you know, fish can be a little more finicky and to get them to bite, you have to downsize. Okay, so that's it. Um, on this back treble here, I'm gonna tip it with the minnow head, just pinch a minnow head, throw it on the back. Um, got it hooked up to some fluorocarbon, to my main lines braid, and that's what I'll be using. <laughs> We're all set up, uh, generator's on, holes are cut. Okay, so here we are. This is the 18 by eight model that I have. Uh, this one can sleep uh, up to four people. Got three just like it. Um, 
So this here, these are your light switches. Turns the lights on and off inside. Uh, some for outside, this would be your awning and then there's also a fan. Um, this one has four separate beds, one being this one, the pillow couch. This couch pulls out, that bunk pulls out, and then up here behind the cabinets, we've got a lift bed that's on a switch. So you hit the switch, it comes down, there's the mattress, put it back up, and it hides away really nice during the day when you don't need it. Just coming back around. Got all the holes drilled, as I said. Last scope's all set up. That's me down there. We've got a couple of the guys coming in a few minutes, so I figured I'd do all this now. So there's uh, tons of plug-ins on the wall, even USB, so you don't need a block charger or a block for your charger. Uh, stereo. You can play music up in the speakers on your phone or listen to the radio, whatever. Thermostat, we've got your full kitchen. So there's an oven, stove top, mini fridge, microwave, and a hood vent. So if uh, you wanted to fry fish in here, you can. Blows all the, the smell out. Um, and then also underneath here, you've got your furnace. So these are your vents, super nice and cozy. Over here, you've got two TVs. So if you're sitting down at this couch, you can watch those. These two TVs sitting over there, you can watch these ones and they're all synced together. And then in here, you've got your bathroom. Again, so there's a bunch of storage up here. This is where all of our kitchen stuff is. More over there, more over there. Some drawers over here. Some utensils. Look who's here. What's up? Wow, what an entrance. There he is. That's how you open the video, right there. They've gone now. <laughs> if, they, if there was birds there, they're gone now. Normally I just yell at them through the camera and they take off. They don't come back. <laughs> Imagine like snagging a 20 pound lake trout. Snagging, yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, oh and you were me, bro. On the Ah! Oh, yeah! The or wallet. Oh, Every man for wallet. himself. I can double. Are we playing for keeps? Uh, I'll eat. You always say that. <laughs> yeah, you want them? I won't eat them. I might get them once last time. You said, I asked if we were playing for keeps. You said you'd keep. If Yeah, well, if you want to. What do you mean? <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to. Do you I, want to? I won't. No. Okay. Bye bye. I think he won a Nord. It probably looks like I'm just constantly staring at your camera. Uh, it looks to be, yep. Haha! <laughs> dang it! Cut that out. Oh, he's coming for me now. I see him on mine. Oh, no. Eric's so Oh my god, he's so aggressive. Come. There we go. Ah. Perch. Did you catch one, Eric? Number two. Number 15. Just kidding. Oh, he's going for you. Eyeball, baby. Let's go. It's your time. It's your calling. Time to shine, eyeball. Oh, nice. eyeball, baby. Oh. Massive. Don't let her. Bye. Bye. Do not fear the eyeball is here, Jaden. Oh, oh. You, why, why'd you do that? Oh! Your time has come back. Round two. There you go. You're on your own. On an eight inch perch. Oh! Wow! Magnums. Bye bye! I don't know. This song's a banger. <laughs> the biggest perk by far to these things is showing up with regular loafers, jeans, and a sweater, walking in and fishing. Yep. 
and then leaving, turning the lights off and locking the door, and then leaving. You come here, it's all warm, you fish, you start your truck, get in your truck while it's warm, shut the door, lock the door, and you're done. You got one. Oh, we're going no hat on. Holy. Look at that hair. You look like the perch. Probably look better than the perch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my shoes are nice and warm. Oh, my God. What? Trout. Yes. Oh, that's big. Get the camera. Get the camera. Where, it? It? Where is right it? Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, my gosh. The head shakes. What we got going on here, Jaden? I think we got trout on. <laughs> I hope I don't lose yeah, it. Yeah, you take this. I gotta reel my rod up for him. So it doesn't get wrapped up. They like ripped in. There he goes. Gosh, that's scary. This will be a while. Can't do very much. No. <laughs> Intermission, folks. That's why I don't use a, like a pool cue. Because when they shake. Yeah, that's a laker on. Yeah, I'd say that rod's a little bent, eh? Whatever I just did, he just took like twice as much out. Eight minutes. It? The whale tail on them. Whale tail, folks. Well, what's there? Oh, we're at 11 minutes now, folks. Customer would be pooping his pants right now, though. What? He's there. He's right here. Big. Oh, it is big. You see him, Eric? Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Look at the head on that thing. I don't. So scary. Oh, my God. He choked it. Oh, my gosh. That thing's huge. Okay. We got it! Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Just walleye fishing and this is what you get. It's 37 inch rod. Yeah, 37 inch rod. I'll go from the tip. So that's like, I would say 36 inches. Yeah. Oh, smokes. Wow. That was a long fight, but he's still... Still full of energy. Off he goes. Sweet. Nice. Little eater. Little eater. Yoink. So when that fish came in and bit, the entire live scope, you know, like they uh -huh. have the track mark is blue or whatever? Yeah. This entire side just went blue. Right Maybe away. it's like a missile. I was like, what? And then all of a sudden he was just on there. 
Yeah, you're right, I am. Nice. <coughs> That's crazy though. You're just like fishing for walleyes, and all of a sudden you just whoosh! Giant fish. On walleye gear? Yeah, on walleye gear. I think that's the coolest thing ever though. There's not very many places you can do that. You know, you'd just be fishing with light gear for walleyes or perch or whatever and get smoked by a 15 pound trout. And fight it for what, half an hour? You couldn't even lift them up the hole with your rod. I had to lift them up by pulling on the line. Yeah. You know when you catch a big bass in the summer and they have like meat in their mouth and you grab it, you're like, yes. Yes. <laughs> that's what that trout had. I scared myself because when I grabbed him in the gills, I felt your rattle bait on my finger and I was like, oh, oh no. Hey, yeah, you you're going to have to have the uh, big fish, parentheses, big fish, parentheses, parentheses again. Yeah. In your video. For sure. <laughs> Why fishing in a Here we go. $5 million ice shack? Yeah. Big fish. Like a lot of people that stay here. They'll try for them for a whole weekend and end up just catching one inside the shack. Some people ask, they're like, so if I go target lake trout, I'm like, well, honestly, it's probably half and half. You're going to catch one either trying for it or, or honestly not. We were crappie fishing and he had his rod hanging over the side of the boat and I was idling around looking for the crappies and he looks down at his jig and there's a laker sitting there swimming with it. Yeah. Like, like at the surface of the water. Like two feet under the surface, big lake trout just like, uh, yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Wow. I said one's from right by me. He's coming over. He's coming to say hi to the man in the middle of the lake. Call me Gahi, the Sam's Lanch. <laughs> Everyone's looking for me, but they can't find me. Hey Eric, you should punch the camera that calls it up. We're not punching cameras. We said we're not doing it. We're not doing it. 